Okay, so um, it's Friday, uh, June 28th, and I'm going to Pittsburgh. Got the bike all packed up, uh, rigged with cameras. I really kind of like the setup I have here today. Um, one of my cameras, uh, trying to find a spot that gives me good coverage, but doesn't really get subject to the vibration that I get if I put it on the windshield or if I put it on the, uh, the bars. So hopefully this will be a good choice. We shall see. Uh, I've got the uh, three suction cup mount and I'm gonna lower it on the windshield because um, I'm gonna have the uh, camera on my helmet, but if you can see it on the windshield, I don't know, it's, it's kind of distracting. And so maybe I'm gonna try and keep it out of sight, but still try and get some really interesting. It's gonna be for my Rilo for the 360 degree camera. Uh, I'm not gonna set up anything on the sides or the front or the back because I have uh, my cargo bag uh, here and then having that mounted to uh, the rails and if I were to have the uh, the other sort of poles out with the uh, suction cups on it that just becomes a lot more than I really want to deal with so uh, and now I've got the uh, computer bag there in the front uh, I've got a lot of stuff in my top case and some stuff uh, really just sort of like uh, tarp under my seat and um, I think that should do it. I'm really excited. This is going to be hopefully fun. We'll see what the traffic is like. My brother was trying to tell me it's supposed to rain. I checked two different weather channel websites and it's supposed to be a beautiful day. So I'm going to roll those dice and see what happens. So here we go. Love that sound. Whew. It's, uh, it's about 10 o'clock and I wanted to really kind of get out, hopefully after rush hour traffic. Uh, it's still hot. I mean, I'm wearing jeans, just more for protection. Uh, it's the plain white t-shirt under my riding jacket, but even before I put the jacket on, I was sweating. And the way that's I think good um, my brother had called me yesterday and uh, was telling me that the weather reports that he saw local television for Pittsburgh were talking about you know this thunderstorm coming in around the afternoon around the time I probably would be arriving and uh, you know he's saying it's he's lived there for a while and it's the weirdest weather he's seen in quite a while um, and I, you know, it actually has been fairly uh, wet this summer. Um, I haven't really seen it rain quite like this, not since I lived here in, around the 90s or so. Climate change, maybe, sure, not surprised. Um, yeah, we've had some tornado warnings and funnel cloud sightings and maybe one or two occasions of possible tornadoes in this area which is really strange i don't really think that's going to happen today uh, what i've seen for the weather doesn't really seem to suggest any kind of rain coming so if it's going to be hot like this i will welcome that over any kind of rain any kind of wind any kind of tornado what have you i'm fine with that so um going to be talking about riding on highways and getting yourself set up for that and uh, it would be fun if we could just sort of spontaneously say hey I'm gonna go for a road trip let's go and some people do that uh, I'm not really one of those people I like the plan and maybe I make things a little harder for myself because I don't use a cell phone I don't have a smartphone I don't have GPS I don't have access to things like Google or Google Maps um, so I do a lot of prepare work and uh, so yesterday I just sort of downloaded uh, from Google Maps um, my route and I think what helps me is I will take and I will write down the directions again on an index card I don't know if you can see it it's kind of tucked away here in my computer bag and that helps me become more familiar, if not to memorize the route. And mainly, it's, it's pretty much a straight shot across the state of Pennsylvania. 
I-76 I'm going to be taking, but when I arrive, I need to follow the directions to get to my brother's house. And I, I haven't been to my brother's house. Uh, he's moved to a new house, and uh, again, I haven't really been out there in quite a while. And, uh, and cool bike. Um, so, like, this is a long time in coming. So this is good. So no traffic so far. That means rush hour is kind of over. That's all part of the plan. So being prepared helps out a lot. Um, T clocks your, your bike, meaning give it a thorough inspection before you get on the road, especially your tires, inspect your tires, check the air pressure. Along with everything else, um, lights, electrics, controls, chassis, your liquids, oil, coolant. Make sure everything is in really good condition. Again, yeah, you could be spontaneous and hit the road, but if your bike is not ready for it, if it's got you know a flaw or two, um, that could be enhance a little bit more while you're riding on uh, a freeway for quite a while and yeah you could do uh, back roads and everything and, and take it slow and maybe see things that are better and I get that uh, but this is going to be a five-hour trip just on the freeway and uh, probably maybe eight hours twice as long Ten or so if I were to take the back roads and I really only want to be gone for about a weekend so yeah I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about uh, freeway riding once we get on the freeway if we get on I-76 and uh, I'll be able to assess the conditions of the road Pennsylvania's got really bad roads I don't know why. They're always under construction. They're in terrible shape after the winter. And then they just spend years on construction, like they milk the job. And given how much they collect on all the tolls throughout the state, which is just, for me, kind of criminal, I, I don't know why they can't just, they should have the money to hire a huge crew of people and get this done, get this fixed. I'm hoping that's not the case here. Uh, it's been a while since I've gone down I-76 and when my wife and I did ride, uh, drive it, lots of construction, terrible road conditions. And you know, that's why I think my brother is a little worried about me taking the scooter. My mother even called and she was freaked out. My mother doesn't like me riding this. She does not like motorcycles or scooters. Kind of had to like surprise her and let her know that I was doing this. She wasn't happy. And I get that. And especially after my accident. Crash. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. There you go. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. So not as hot as I thought it would be, which is really good. Hopefully just riding cools me down.
traffic on the bridge. It's amazing. 